Hello, hello, hello. It is your friend and mine. Of course, I'm my friend. They are here again today. And, ooh, that's a nice sword. Wait, I'm going to check that out. Oh, it's just the Ultra Omni Nightblade. I didn't know that. Eh. All right, and today I will be showcasing, kind of, the Scarlet Sorceress, which you might have heard me talking about in my uh, Celestial Realm playthrough thing. So I didn't quite rank it to 10 yet because Whoa. Um, it's quite a bunch of work to rank classes. I'm lazy. So... I guess we'll begin with a quick little showcase of the abilities. I'm just going to start with number 5 and start stacking them. Because we all need them. I haven't been a shadow realm forever, so. Uh, let's do it to that one. Huh, I didn't know you knew this. Oh, that's 2? I guess it's only 2 and 4. Oh well. Oh well, I'll finish stacking later. So, from what I found, the class has pretty solid um, health regen. Uh, the number three gives very strong uh, haste boost, and, you know, and it has a reasonable nuke in number four, although number four is also a strong heal. So, considering, yeah, see that 1048 uh, dot? Yeah, about that. When you have full stacks on, this class is pretty insane. Um, so, that's about it for this part. But it is another class that is capable of soloing Blood Titan. Which is quite special, because not a lot of classes get Darn I packs faded. Stupid map load. Oh well, I'll just jump into it. So, soloing, I'd say, especially if there's only one monster in the room, because mono regen, the class on account of having a super weak auto attack, um, the mana regen isn't great. And with two moves that actively consume mana, uh, despite the other two just using uh, health, is kind of an issue. Although the most important move, which is the stacks, uses health, which is good, because I don't have to worry about that. The haste one, however, which is also really important, because it helps with mana regen and helps with um, keeping your damage output high. This class is a pretty high damage output, by the way. Um, uh, use mana. I totally lost my train of thought. But, because I interrupted myself. <laughs> um, so, yes. The heal is pretty strong, and I'm actually capable- I'm actually totally fine with using this move, despite the fact that it saps my health while the Blood Titans in Blood Rage, because it also happens on full stacks, it get 50% damage resist, which is pretty good. So for soloing, don't use this move because it hogs your mana. And the heal is very, very strong. I use the first move for heals instead of the third move, because it, one, saps your mana, two, also damages you after heals. This one damages you before you heal. So you heal back the damage, whereas this one, you get healed up and then take like a 700 dot to your own face, which hurts a lot. Although it does deal a high, high amount of damage to the enemy, it's much better for bursts than for uh, the drawn out battles. Um, the rank 10 passive is the same as Blood Titans, which from my experience, I played Blood Titan uh, back when I restarted the game in, wow, was it 2013? It's been a while. Um, and I played Blood Titan as my main class for a long time because I did not have any other classes, any other good classes. Um, and from what I saw, I think it was six months I played Blood Titan only. I've only triggered the Titanic Bloodline maybe two or three times tops. So assuming the trigger rate is the same, Titanic Bloodline isn't particularly amazing. So I usually rank classes that I really like to rank 10. Um, this one's already farther than usual. I, classes I do like, not like or think are met, I will rank to 5. This one's at 8. I originally intended to go rank 10, but it takes so long. Because, oh, I mean, it's not super duper long. I mean, after all, I do play with 250% uh, 
boosts because I have the doubler plus the cape, the cape of all, which is 25%, and that ends up at 250%. So it's 200% and 25%. So, yes, uh, I mean, yeah, the class is pretty good, I'd say. The good thing it's an AC class as well. Um, in case you didn't already know. I would say it's definitely worth farming for. Uh, I spent maybe half an hour with a group of people farming the class. Um, it is not worth your ACs. If you want to buy a class with ACs, save it for something amazing like Abyssal Angel or Legion Doom Knight or Blazebinder. Don't... Oops, I misclicked. Do not buy Scarlet Sorceress with ACs. It is a waste, a complete and utter waste of your ACs. Um, it's soul and capability is strong. It does not have a humongous damage output, although in terms of farming, because it hits three opponents, three enemies, it's actually pretty good at that. So farming, I'd say, is fine with this class. Um... I'm using full wizard enhancements in case that uh, in case you, somebody wanted to know. I'll also put that in the description, given that I'll forget. I'm I'm prone to forgetfulness, so pardon me. If I forget and you want it in the description, poke me. Put a comment. I'll stick it in the description. Because I'm forgetful. Um and yeah. So it's another Blood Titan Solower, which basically means it is capable of taking the several hundred damage that Blood Titan is dish that Blood Titan dishes out undodgeably, and um, basically it just means it has very very strong healing. Um, let's see, the speed of the soul, I don't, it's not particularly high. Stone Crusher for one is much much faster than. Uh, Scarlet Sorceress, but it's definitely worth farming for. It's definitely a fun class to play with. I love the classes that use health instead of mana, because unlike mana, which you run out of half of the time, you never run out of health, unless you're dead. Then you don't really care about not being able to cast your moves, because you're dead. So, that's just one of the great things. Um, Mono region is surprisingly stable today. I haven't run out yet. So that's that's a good point. I've been critting a lot. Because the auto attack is very weak. Also, the auto attack heals. I forgot that. That's such a big deal. It heals at level 65 with full wizard. I didn't test with any other enhancements, so I can't say. But at level 65 with full wizard, it heals maybe 200 a hit. 200 health a hit, which is pretty good. Getting a free mini heal with your auto attack is pretty strong in addition to the class's super powerful healing ability. I think um, having this class around is probably incredibly good for uh, binky, uh, binky uh, fights because it has super high survivability as long as you don't get the first move uh, locked. So try to get the maybe the fourth move, number four, aka the third move, locked preferably. Um, don't get the first move locked. Number three is okay to get locked, or yeah, number three or the second move is okay to get locked. But I wouldn't want it to be locked because the haste, I mean, that 20% haste buff is big. And reducing big yeast haste is also pretty big. Although I'm sure if you have a bard or stone crush in your class, they're, they've already done plenty of big yeast haste reduce. So I think this class would be good for that. Because of its humongous survivability plus 50% damage resist. Um, so, yeah. It's almost over. Oh, not to mention, the class actually heals its opponent a little bit. If you've seen the health bar flickering because uh, the first move actually actively heals the opponent when it heals yourself. Because all of this class is, uh, class's um, offensive moves are symmetrical, S uh, not sy symmetrical. 
Um, and when it deals damage, you take damage. When it heals damage, you heal damage. Uh, you, the opponent gets healed as well. Although, obviously, it deals your opponent much more damage than it deals you, and it heals your opponent much less than it heals you. Because that's only fair. But yeah, it's overall a pretty impressive class. I pretty much like it. I don't know if I will bother ranking it to 10. And I believe after this I'm throwing in the bank because the class probably isn't worth uh, leaving in my inventory because I don't have infinite inventory slots. And I'm not likely to use it very often because Abyssal Angel and uh, Blaze Binder are all I need for those purposes. And for soloing purposes, I personally prefer Legion Doom Knight, which is very strong, and Stone Crusher. Stone Crusher is supposed to be support. I use it for solos. But yeah, uh, that's it for today. If you have any questions or maybe a request of a class you want me to showcase, I have almost every class except for some rare classes. I have most rare classes, not all. And I also have... Uh, and I don't have not uh, Dwaykel Warlord and uh, that other whatever the thing is. Let's see. Oh, I also don't have Battle Mage. I don't have the Draco Warlord for the reason of I do not want to spend ACs on it. And I don't really have the inventory space. Also the Death Knight Lord, I don't have that because I don't I didn't farm it. I also don't have internal inversionist. I'm considering uh getting it, but that's a pain. I have to get it. I mean, but if you really want me to showcase that class, I will go and get it. Um Ooh, a Scarletta Helm. Okay. Maybe I'll pick that up. That's nice. <laughs> Look at my paltry ACs. But talk like a pirate day or Talapid for short, coming up just around the corner. My paltry ACs will hardly buy me anything. That's unfortunate. But yeah, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Uh, leave me a class request if you want me to showcase a class. I have tons of them. Uh, if there's anything else you want me to do, let me know so that I don't do nothing. So yeah, that's it for today. Have a good day. Goodbye.